There is a well-known account of an old Inuit man who refused to move into a settlement. Over the objections of his family, he made plans to stay on the ice. To stop him, they took away all of his tools. So in the midst of a winter gale, he stepped out of their igloo, defecated, and honed the feces into a frozen blade, which he sharpened with a spray of saliva. With the knife, he killed a dog. Using its rib cage as a sled and its hide to harness another dog, he disappeared into the darkness. So, based on that ethnographic account, uh, my uh, colleagues here at Kent State and I wanted to know whether it was possible to manufacture a knife out of frozen human feces. So we decided to conduct an experiment. One of us, me, uh, went on a high protein, high fatty acid diet full of beef and, and salmon and fish that would sort of be analogous to an Arctic diet. And then I start to produce the necessary raw materials for our knives. Uh, we decided to sort of give our knives the best possible chance to succeed um, to see if they could actually cut once frozen. Um, so what we did was instead of butchering a live dog, uh, we just got pigskin um, with some muscle and so there was no hair to, to dull the knife blade. Um, the pigskin was also cold so it wasn't uh, alive and, and warm-blooded like a dog might be, um, a freshly killed dog. And uh, we also had files, metal files, to sharpen our knives as, as best we could. Um, now we obviously didn't perform this experiment uh, in the Arctic, we performed it in the laboratory, but our knives were cold. We got dry ice uh, and so we're, we were able to freeze our knives um, and the raw materials to negative 50 degrees centigrade. Um, once our knives were as sharp as we could make them, uh, we are ready to butcher these things, uh, butcher the, the pig skin. Um, I was thinking to myself, oh my goodness, like this might actually work because I had no idea how hard uh, frozen human feces or feces in general could become when frozen. It, it seemed almost like a rock. Um, so I thought before we started the butchery that, oh my goodness, we are going to make a knife um, out of my feces and we're going to be able to cut something, uh, which is kind of cool. Um, but unfortunately, uh, once we began the actual butchery experiment with the knives, um, just like streaks, it just sort of left skid marks on the meat and, and no cutting was uh, accomplished. Um, now, it's really important in science to have uh, repeat tests, replicability. So the co-director of the laboratory, Dr. Michelle Beber, uh, actually uh, redid the experiment with a, a more Western diet um, and her knives when frozen to negative 50 degrees centigrade uh, also did not cut. Um, and, and so unfortunately it doesn't seem like that there's uh, a scientific basis uh, for this story um, that uh, this man in the 1950s uh, was able to make knives out of his frozen feces in, in order to sort of survive on the ice. Um, and so I guess it's probably a lesson for all of us that uh, if you're ever in a survival situation, um, just grab some rocks or a stick or something and don't try to defecate into your hands and, and make a knife.